In the previous video, we looked at components and the address component tag format there, where we linked the components to the input output addresses on the PLC module. You can do that with wire tagging as well. So I've got a drawing up here. I'm just going to save the drawing first. That way you can see the actual title of the drawing. It's a little bit easier to see than that big long path. And it's address wire number tag format. Don't add it to the project just yet. We'll go to the project, right click, and we'll go to properties like we did previously, but we're going to look at wire numbering this time. Again, we're going to search for the PLC input output address. I'm going to make it sequential. I normally use 001 and I'm going to OK that. Now, what I'm going to do is right click, add the active drawing and say yes again to the new project default values. That'll update. There's the new drawing there. So make sure that it's got the right drawing number. This time 11. So we're going to lose that zero. And again, get into the habit of that. It's a really good habit to have. It's good CAD practice. I'll just refresh the project so that, that shows up as sheet number 11. Our wires and our components now will actually have that input output address search. So let's add a couple of components. We'll put some more push buttons in. I'm going to use the same push button as before. I'm going to drop it there using the snap and grid. As you can see, it's not using the PLC address because I need to go back and set those project settings. Or what I can do is I can select the PLC address off the wire like that. It's that easy. It doesn't have to be fixed within the project. I can just click there, use PLC address. If I OK repeat that now and put one here and use the PLC address again, again it updates using the appropriate PLC address. I'll OK that now. So there you go. That's coming off of IO4. That's coming off of IO2. Now, I've got wires here already. So AutoCAD Electrical knows that we've got wires coming off of those input output addresses. So if I now go to wire numbering, and I want to tag, retag all, sequential 00. zero. I've already set it up in the project to pick up the input output address. So I don't need to think about it. There's the sequential start. I'm going to pick individual wires. If I pick that wire there, like that, and that wire there, like that, and press enter, look at that. It numbers the wires as per the input output. How cool is that? I don't have to think about it. It does it all for me. So that's your address wire number tag format. It performs in the same way as the components, but the good thing is, if you look at it, it's all relating back to those input output addresses. It saves you having to go in there and renumber all of that manually. Excellent, isn't it? It's very quick, very effective.